my mother, my mother was a very beautiful woman. And like I said, she always told me, son, you're gonna definitely have to get somebody that's real pretty because you're too ugly to have it, you know. So, <laughs> so anyway. We interrupt this program for this Channel 4 News special report. Kaboom, it's World War III. Michael Jackson, 600 million others killed as most of the known world burns in hellish fires. We'll have team coverage in just a moment. But first, this breaking news. Longtime KNBC TV cameraman Dick Smith is calling it quits. Here's what we know right now. Absolutely nothing. So here is some wild, unfounded speculation. Avid crossword fan Smith was distressed. He couldn't find a four-letter word for the tent-like living quarters of Mongolian nomads. Dick, the correct answer is yurt. It's in the dictionary. It was there all along. Look it up. Smith may have grown weary of financing lunches for reporters who'd conveniently forgotten their wallets again. And possibly Smith has gone into hiding to avoid the unwanted advances of the so-called ape woman of Fillmore, Francine Niago, who still, years after Smith took her picture, is trying to get her ape Pongo to say something, anything. He will say, come here, play with me, I love you, hug me, all those words. Once again, Dick Smith retires after years of selfless service to man and ape alike. And because of this breaking news, we have run out of time for now, so we'll have an update on the start of World War III a little bit later on. I'm Kent Shocknick. Have a good day. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. This man is what you might call a glutton for punishment. Richard K. Smith. A veteran of 36 years with the National Broadcasting Company with one year off for good behavior. We'll get to that later. It all began in Redlands, California, the small town to end all small towns, a place Pete Noyes says was so conservative they dealt with their welfare problem by shooting poor people. It was here Dick grew up with his brother Malcolm. Dick lettered in both football and basketball at Redlands High. On the gridiron, he played both offense and defense, going both ways perhaps in preparation for his career as an Abe. In 1951, he enrolled at the farm, Stanford University, where he played JV football. But there was a war going on in Korea, and Dick took a couple of years off to march in the infantry. Then back to the farm and graduation in 1958, followed by a move right into the mainstream of Los Angeles television, KRCA, as it was known then, at the corner of Sunset and Vine. Dick began as an apprentice to two of broadcasting's legendary cameramen, Dexter Alley and Gene Barnes. And the lessons they taught served Dick well. A year later, the beginning of another long and fruitful relationship. Dick married Anne. This after they'd met at a barbecue in South Pasadena. That union produced four children. Bill, a lawyer, Deborah, a business executive, and Mike and Dave, both teachers. Dick's career took off from those tranquil early days with Jack Latham to the scourging street wars that have turned Los Angeles upside down. Dick was everywhere, getting bowled over by a Secret Service agent while covering Richard Nixon, sticking close to George Bush and staying upright, covering Siberia with Tom Pettit, and going to China with yours truly back in 1979. Thanks for those really great memories, Dick. And there he is with hard copies, hard-edged Doug Bruckner doing an investigative piece in Mexico when Unit 4 was in vogue. And who can forget those immortal days of getting lost in the field with the legendary Warren Olney or keeping track of Charlotte Perry. Had it not been for Dick and Nak Nakamura, it would have been F-Troop all over again. There were awards, too, along the way, a National Emmy for a first Tuesday report on America's nerve gas arsenal in 1973 with Tom Pettit. A golden mic for covering a major fire at the Los Angeles Zoo. And a lot of awards that a lot of other people collected but wouldn't have had Dick Smith not been around because Dick is the very best. That year off for good behavior, it came in 1968 when Dick tried his hand at public television, a show called Sunday. But then back to the real world and Burbank. And now, Dick, you're getting some permanent relief from the back-breaking blood, sweat, and tears. And a lot of your friends want to say goodbye. Our hope is that Dick Smith have a well-earned retirement and a cloudy day at the beach will be the worst he faces again. Dick is the consummate professional, as anyone who's worked with him will attest. The five weeks we spent together in China proved to me you can't have a better colleague. 
He is competent, caring, and calm. Even when we were forced to sneak out of the country after a Beijing bureaucrat was offended by some of our coverage. Dick has had a great career, and all of us who work with him will miss him, and so will television news. Good luck, Dick. May the good luck be with you. Plays a little bit further down. I'm, I'm David Garcia, the most pompous asshole here on the uh, facilities, and I just want to say my goodbye to uh, that fabuloso person. Uh, what was his name, Cindy? Oh, Richard K. Smith. Oh, fabulous, fabulous individual. Oh, Dick, we love you. Ciao, ciao. Dick Smith, Dick Smith, Dick Smith, I need you to roll Downey right away. Downey, it's the biggest story of your career in Downey. You're retiring? You retiring? Oh, well, I just want to wish you the best, and I got to say, I hope I look as good as you after 30 something years. Here. Here. <laughs> Dick Smith is a legend in his own mind. Actually, he's, he went into television the same year I did, 1961, and we're both dinosaurs, and he's got the brains to get out of the business, and I don't have any brains, so I'm still here. Dick Smith was the finest cameraman I ever worked with in my career. He started up Unit 4 here. He was personally responsible for the success of Warren Alley as a lightweight reporter. There are many other attributes which I could think about if I had a day, but I can't think, think of them right now. Dick, have a great vacation, even though you're a Stanford man. Retire, enjoy life, go overseas, do something constructive. Uh, Dick, you shot so many of the FFF series. What do you think FFF means? <laughs> well, you started with the one everybody wanted, how to buy a bathing suit. And then you show one with Karen Brown. Should I tell the story that you did at uh, The Unforgotten Woman, where you ask Karen, who is maybe a size 2 or a 4 if she's dripping wet, to try on a size 18 outfit? <laughs> and stopped everybody in their tracks. Anyway, you're a good sport. We had a great time shooting FFF. Um, Dave Fernandez shot something with me the other day where um, we're at Menage a Trois. The name sort of speaks for itself, and I'll let him tell you the story. Anyway, happy retirement. We will miss you. And um, good luck. I'm here to give you a preview of what retirement is really like, Dick. And all I can tell you is there's a whole big, vast world out there when you get to make up your own mind and don't have it made up for you by somebody yapping at you on the other end of a two-way radio. I mean, the big issues of life are now yours to decide, like whether it's the spa or the pool today. I mean, these are the big issues, and now they're all yours. I think you're going to enjoy it. I think life as the bank of dad's biggest debtor is going to be a lot more fun than life as its biggest creditor. I hope you enjoy it. When you get down here, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Good luck, Dick. Dick Smith is retiring. I thought he would have retired 50 years ago. What is he on, the 100-year plan? I mean, I've been with this company now for 62 years. Smith must be 114 years of age. How come he hasn't shown up on the Willard Scott thing yet? Four-letter word for detective. Dick, something everyone has called P Paul Skolnick at one time or another. Dick, something photographers whisper behind reporters' backs repeatedly. Dick, something Chip Wallace misses. Okay. A Stanford grad that KNBC is going to sorely miss. Richard Smith. Okay, Dickie boy, have yourself a wonderful retirement. Thanks for everything, man, and take care. You are one of a kind, and I'll miss you a whole bunches, and um, we'll have a couple of cold ones when uh, the time is right. About five minutes from right now. Take care, pal. Thanks again for everything. Bye. Dick, you've done a terrible job heading the union. Oh, the other Dick Smith. Uh, well, now that you're retired, I guess your senile dog can retire with you, and uh, I hope you have a very nice time in your leisure life, in your leisure suit, in your leisure home. Good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Smith. You're the only Dick Smith I'll ever miss in my life. And uh, I treasure the time we spent together when you were in the record room, and have a happy time in retirement. Bye. What do you think about Dick Smith? Well, I was just wondering if he liked to surf here. We got some good waves. I'm sure he's surfed many times. Uh, do you think he should come up here and try him out? Yeah, it surfs up right now, and it's kind of a foggy day, but so. looks like some good waves. You know, he's leaving us after decades of work at NBC. What do you think of that? 
Well, I think you have a pretty good crew. You should probably keep in touch. Okay. And what was my last name again? Tokamatsu. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Dick, you're the only guy at the station who has a weirder name than mine. Smith. How wacky. We'll miss you. Listen, I understand you're retiring. Well, listen, you paid your dues, Dick. You gave a lot of years to a, a great, great organization. And I wish you nothing but the best. May you live to enjoy many, many years of good health and happiness. And your contribution to your field has been excellent. You're a good man, Dick Smith. God bless you. Take care of yourself. And when you go to bed tonight, Dick, and you say your prayers and you thank God for all the good things he's given you in life, if you have any compassion in your heart, you'll say a prayer for Tommy and the Dodgers. And you better pull for the Dodgers, Dick. Otherwise, you may not get into heaven. Good luck, pal. Enjoy life. You deserve it. Thank you for all the tips that you've given me. And uh, best of luck to you. And like I said, seat is here. We got the best seat in the house. Come on out and uh, enjoy the Dodger. And uh, here's Fave. He want to say a couple words to you also. Fave, take it away, babe. Thanks, Darren. As you can see, Dick, you taught me how to work, especially around the Dodgers game. But all in truth, I assume that everybody is going to follow in your wonderful steps. God. Tell us, Phil, about Dick Smith and uh, some of your good times with him. God. Tell us some more. <laughs> well, I remember when he first started, when I first started here, we were on our first shoot, and uh, he said something I'll never forget. It was, um, it was always, oh, wait, never Wait, what was it again? Dick, I'm going to miss working with you. One of the finest cameramen I've ever met, had the pleasure of working with. I'd just like to remind you of one thing, the immortal words of Mr. Bo Greitz, Bohica, bend over, here it comes again. Have a good retirement. Hey, I already told him that I miss him, and but I'm not too far from, behind from him, so I will follow him soon. <laughs> Dick, I wish we had more time and I got to know you a little better, but the, my one great memory of you is the video you shot on the, uh, the begging series of those heroin addicts shooting in that from your van into their car. It was really remarkable. Thanks for all your great work and good luck. Dick Smith, you crazy yahoo. Congratulations on retirement. You know, Dick, I have to admit, uh, I don't think of you very often unless we're working together, but whenever I have something cold, something frozen, yeah, you come to mind. That's because of our trip to San Francisco. Remember that few days up in Baghdad by the Bay when we did that series on cryonics? Those are the folks, of course, who freeze heads and bodies so they can revive them in the future. Well, I know that upset you, that series. You were a little uneasy there for a while, being as old as you are. Well, believe it or not, I don't know if this is the time or the place to announce this, but Rick Marks and I, when we were up there, we purchased you a policy. Yes, sir. You know, I know you're getting up there in years, so you might want to think about this, but you will have a head job when you die. I, I mean, well, that's right. Not a full body job. That was a little too expensive. And quite frankly, you could use a new body when they clone you one later on in future land. But in any case, it's our treat. And I just wanted to bring you up to speed on this. First of all, um, we already have your cylinder lined up. Uh, it's between, well, good Lord, look who's, who your neighbors are here. Uh, Rebecca Aguilar is signed up. She'll be to your left. And uh, Steve Antonetti, hmm, two names of your past. They're going to be, uh, he's going to be to your right. Um, another thing to keep in mind, when you die, the oxygen, uh, you know, there's no oxygen going to your brain, and so your brain starts to deteriorate. So they suggest that they remove your head just before clinical death. Uh, in some cases, where there's been a lot of deterioration already during life, probably your case, uh, they, you might want to move that up a few hours, or in, or in really extreme cases, which again, you might qualify for, uh, at least a week. That's what it says here, uh, at least a week. So keep that in mind. You know, you're getting up there, you know. So, um, oh, one other thing. It's guaranteed. Uh, nothing's going to go wrong with this. They're going to have your head frozen for a long, long time. They did tell me this story, though, about a, this one cryonics firm where they uh, forgot to pay the air conditioning bill and they just, it, it was a frozen mess there. It was just, it was just awful. Um, in any case, Dick, uh, 
we're going to miss you. I want you to know that um, I enjoyed working with you a great deal. And as Dick Nixon said during that news conference back in 1962 that you covered, he said, if I can quote, uh, Dick, you've been very fair to me. Let there be no mistake about that. You won't have Dick Smith to kick around anymore. Congratulations. Hi, Dick. I just wanted to wish you the best in your 30 or some odd years with the company and um, enjoy yourself. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, Dick. I understand you're going to call it quits. You've saved up enough sprocket holes, and even with the valuation, you're still going to have enough money to make a living? That's wonderful. So, by the way, I know that you hoarded a lot of stuff over the years from way back in the film days. I'm looking for a battery. Did you save any batteries for one of these suckers here? Uh, can't use it without a battery. Anyway, good luck. Hope you have a great retirement and drop it and say hello from time to time. Hey, Dick, what the hell is going on here? I mean, we just met only a little. Hey, <laughs> and you're calling it quits? Hey, pal, uh, listen, good luck. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that it, time has come, but boy, uh, when the time comes, it comes. Uh, but uh, go ahead. Uh, go off into the sunset. I hope we keep in touch, uh, but good luck and uh, be good and see you around. Dick Smith leaving? That's hard to believe. I was just a young apprentice cameraman when I started there, and he'd already been here for, it seemed, forever. Dick, we're going to miss you. Hi. Dick, I just wanted to wish you the best in everything that you do and, and tell you good luck and have a safe trip in all your travels uh, wherever you're going to go. Bye-bye. Hey, Dick, remember First Tuesday? Well, this sure isn't it, is it? I envy you. Have a good time. Enjoy your life and have a nice retirement. Bye. Oh, hey, 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 what's happening, Dick Smith? Oh, my baby. Well, you know, Dick Smith is kind of a kooky, quirky, quacky kind of a guy with a comical sense of humor, but a rather a mindless mishmash of mediocrity that's rather, well, maddening to the mind. Well, this is from David Sheehan, and he says, uh, Dick Smith, uh, just have a little bit of that squash scrape for me, too, okay, when you're uh, on your retirement. Dick, I just want to wish you a very happy retirement, and I hope you really enjoy whatever it is you're going to do while you're retired. That's it. Um, I'll help you guys with the gear in a minute. I'm going to hit the little boys' room here. We're right out. I think that sounded pretty convincing. But I'm the only one who came up with a uh, nice message like that for my old pal Dick. Dick, you know, see, this is that seed catalog I was telling you about, and all those seeds for lettuces that will grow in the summer. So I'm going to Xerox this off um, in, in, in hopes that you have a wonderful garden um, after you retire. I'm going to miss you a lot, and I know you're going to miss us. Now, you see here today I have a peephole story and another sex scandal story, and I know that you would love to be working on those with me. But here's to a wonderful retirement. We'll stay in touch, and we're going to miss you very much. Dick? We only worked together a short time, but I just want to tell you, you know, I loved you like a brother. Good luck, and have a good time. Adios. Okay, Dick Smith. Which Dick Smith? I know, that joke's probably been used. Hey, Dick, I remember you shot my very first series about wedding dresses. Gee, we haven't done anything that flaky in a long time, have we, Dick? Well, we wish you the best, and uh, nice to know somebody could leave here with a smile on their face. Bye-bye. Uh, Dick, I want to tell you that I've been here at NBC News for nearly 30 years now, and I want to tell you, after dealing with hundreds and hundreds of cameramen, uh, both on staff and freelance, you are about the most professional person one could ever, as an assignment editor, that is, could ever hope to work with. So uh, congratulations on your retirement. I hope uh, everything works well for you, and if I need another freelancer, I'll remember your phone number. Hi, Dick. Bye, Dick. Best of luck. Enjoy your retirement. We'll miss you a lot. Bye. This isn't nearly as much fun as when we used to work in the field together. Take care, buddy. We'll see you around. Two Dick Smiths in the same place. It's been, it's been intolerable all these years. Dick, goodbye and good luck. You've been a great one, and we're going to miss you. Okay, Dick, I just want to say have a wonderful life, and always remember your red scarf matches your eyes. Bye. I just want to... 
say I've only known you for a short time, Dick, and it's uh, it's been great working with you, and I yeah. wish you the best in the future. I'm going to miss you. Um, you're one of the greatest photographers around. City officials say Ramon Ramirez was brutally stabbed and subsequently died. A complete and thorough investigation is pending. Fernell Chapman, Channel 4 News, saying goodbye forever to Richard K. Smith. Hmm. Everybody else is probably pulling some kind of a goofy stunt. Well, I got all's well. God, I've got a pencil shoot. Who am I going to get for this pencil shoot? Actually, you know what? KS 308 uh, 34, Dana Roker. Yeah, 34, go ahead. Hey, Dana, I've got a Hensel shoot. Uh, actually, you think it, you could uh, cover that for me? You know, you think of nobody but yourself on your retirement day. Dick, it was a lot of fun working with you. I always had the grandest time. Of course, I don't do a series anymore, so about time, I guess, you got to retire. Okay. See you soon. Oh, Dickie, I can't believe you're leaving us. I can't believe. You said you'd be willing to do entertainment now, but not news. <laughs> Just take care of that prostate, honey. Oh, he's in good health. <laughs> he is in good he's health. He's in very good health. And he's a nice looking man, too. That's he, why I said take care of that he, prostate. That's right. And he's going to be in good health because he's leaving here and he's going to have a great time. They're going to have wonderful trips and relax. Are so. you going to spend any time with him? Mm, I, I wasn't Personally. planning on it. I think his wife is planning on spending time nice with him, kid, don't you think? Okay. Well, well I think his nice wife's going to be with him. Uh, anything that you have planned for him? Yes, I've got a few chores. The honey-do list, the paint this, the scrape that, the plant this. <laughs> you know, Dick, anytime you want me to plan your retirement, you let me know. But we're going to get away. We're going to Italy for two weeks, and that'll be fun just to start. Dick, i got two great ideas. How about, first of all, we swap. You know, uh, I take your spot, you know, and I retire, and you work for the next 20 years. How does that sound? <laughs> or, or, you know, now you're going to have all this time on your hands. How about you take care of my kids for the next 17 years? I have a great um, uh, deal of respect and admiration for you, and uh, I hope you uh, have a great retirement and um, are happy. It's really, really bad to see you go. We really miss you very, very much. It has been a long, long time since we worked together. Hope Hopefully have a nice, nice retirement. Good luck to you, and I'll always remember my first remote in the field, out in the middle of the desert, tripping up the steps with you. Good luck, and see you later. Okay, Dick, this is it. Good luck. Richard, Dave Fernandez told me I was supposed to think of a funny event where something went weird when we were shooting a story. The problem is there aren't any. It always went perfectly with you. Thanks very much. We're going to miss you. God, I hope I'm not here 36 years. As I always said, you all last the Balkan house, and you did. Good luck, and I'll see you soon. Well, Dick, I got in on the last seven years of your career at NBC. I must say they were the worst seven years of my life. Good luck. Can't get anybody to pick up the line. It's a field job. You think they're going to answer it? It's a schedule change for Dick Smith, you know? You'd think they'd be sure to get it. He's on the schedule still, you know? That's all, folks. <laughs> Who? Mr. Dick Smith. You know that guy? Oh, the guy with the chair inside. That guy that falls asleep in you there. You know, I'd, uh, I'm really sorry to see him go, but that is a comfortable chair. <laughs> uh, Dick, uh, we're going to miss you. You're uh, one of the all-time greats. I uh, wish I could say more, but I'm recutting a piece. I haven't even started cutting, so I'll see you. Hey, Smith. You remember me? I heard you finally taking the retirement. Great. Good for you. I've been on this senior club for about five years and just enjoying it and love it. There's something I feel I should tell you that I've never told anybody. All the times that my overturned locker was dusted for prints, never once were your prints found. I wonder if I should see a doctor. Bye, Dick. Bye, Dick. Uh, I guess now that you, uh, you've been union uh, local president for a couple of years, uh, you don't need this place anymore, and you'll be just retiring on a union pension. Uh, so good luck, and see you on the picket line. You know, one of the things that Dick Smith wanted to take care of before he left was he, wanted, he was hope, hoping that I was going to be able to, um, let's see, get engaged. But you know what, Dick? 
Actually, you know what? I think you're right. I've been around here a long, long time. I can't imagine Channel 4 without you, but I know that you can imagine yourself without Channel 4. Have a good retirement. Bye-bye. You know, in submarines, Dick, uh, when a submarine goes out to sea for a long patrol, uh, they say, avast and Godspeed. So to you, sir, I say, avast and Godspeed, whatever that means. Dick, this is Wiley coming to you in stereo, full stereo, 100% stereo. I just came out of a place that you really love. It's a great place to visit. Wish you were here. As we're shooting, I hear this chopper shoom, 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 coming in, and I look up and leaning out of the chopper, shooting from this area he ain't supposed to be, is Dick Smith. And all I can say is, good for you. And good luck, Dick. Looking for Dick Smith. He's around here somewhere. I think he's doing weather shots or something. Some menial, screwy thing that the desk wants. Anyway, uh, I hear he signed up for another 10 years. He, he couldn't take a buyout. He had to sign up for 10 years. Can you believe that? Ten more years. He'll be about uh, 75 when he retires, but he loves this place. He just loves it. Good luck. Dick, you don't know Lois, but she's the makeup person. Um, we all want to wish you the very best. Uh, big Ed, Big Timber, and big retirement. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Dick, for some reason, I can't get Dane and my voice on the recorder at the same time, so I've been elected spokesman up here in the telecopter to say goodbye to you. And I want to say for Dane and mine's 24 years of combined working with Dick Smith, that that's enough Dick. They told me I had 25 seconds to say something nice about Dick Smith. It's pretty hard to say much of anything in 25 seconds. Well, time's up. Except to thank Dick for being the best cameraman NBC ever had, and I owe him three Emmy Awards. Amazing.